Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another After Effects tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to track motion the real way not the way Sony Vegas thinks it is So let's take a look at what we're going to be creating today Let's play through this and you can see that the text is aligned with the squirrel It's moving around with the squirrel and it's even zooming in with the squirrel so this is all done with track motion and the first thing I'm going to do is start with a clean slate delete these two layers and just have the movie layer in its own comp. Now what I'm going to do is select the text and I'm going to go ahead and type in nuts. And I'm sure you all know why squirrels swim on their back, you know, to keep their nuts dry. So the next thing I'm going to do is create a new null object. So layer new null object. We can leave that the same or hit enter and rename it to track layer. Now what I'm going to do is open up my tracker window. So I'm going to go to window tracker. And I'm going to go ahead and select my movie clip here, choose track motion, and you should come up with the movie clip in the motion source. And all this should be fine just the way it is. We can choose what we want to track, the position. I also want to track the rotation and the scale. Now this comes up with two track points. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just bring these up. This one got a little carried away. Bring these up. I'm going to bring this one on the nose and this one on the eye. Zoom in here and just kind of pick this eye out here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this one on the nose. Now these might not be the best tracking spots. If you're trying to track out a person, you can track the eyebrows or the nostrils or any other high contrast source. You can even put a dot or two dots somewhere on the clip or on the person to help out with that tracking as well. Now that I have my track points set up how I want them to be, I'm going to come down here and choose analyze forward. And this is just going to analyze forward in the video and go through it and record all the movement and scales and you can see that the eye kind of already screwed up so it's not the best place to track actually we're gonna we're gonna kind of stop it there that's a little embarrassing okay and you can see that it created keyframes for every little move so I could have just you know sat here for 11 hours and did this by hand or you can use track motion. Now let's say it kind of skipped a couple frames or it didn't do something right. You can always go in here and manually change each keyframe if you want. And when you're happy with the results, you can make sure that your motion target is on this track layer. We want it to be on the null object layer. And if it's not, you can go to edit target and choose that layer that you want to apply the motion to. It's usually the topmost layer or you can choose it yourself. Then hit apply. And we want to apply this to X and Y. Click OK. And now we have all these keyframes. We can uh, get rid of all that and choose the nuts text layer. And we want to parent this with the track layer. We can either pick whip it, just click and pick whip it, or click the little drop down and choose the layer you want it to parent. If you're not seeing any of this, you can go down here and toggle switches slash modes, and that'll, you know, show other options, which it doesn't even change. Or you can hit F4. Now that that's parented to the null object, the text is parented to the null object, you can see that it moves around with the squirrel. So if I preview this here, you can see that right there it starts moving. And then we zoom in. And the text gets bigger as well. So now you know how to track motion in After Effects. Now this doesn't just have to be text. You can parent any layer to this null object and it'll move around just like the text. So hopefully you've learned something today and are able to incorporate this in your future After Effects projects. Remember you can subscribe for free weekly tutorials just like this one. And remember if you ever create anything really cool either in Photoshop, After Effects, Sony Vegas, go ahead and post it to the Facebook page. I'd love to see some of the work that you guys create by watching my videos. Again I hope this helped. Thank you for watching and until next time. Take care. Leave that the same or we can, uh, oh, oh, oops, uh-oh, oops, oh, mm -mm. nope, done.